We all have two people. We all have two people. And I'm not saying you're crazy. We have the easy voice. That's that voice that we all love. That's that very comfortable voice. That, that's that mommy holding you saying, it's gonna be okay. Doesn't care how good you are, just loves you. Just loves you no matter how messed up you are in life. So that's that one voice. This other voice that we walk very far away from is a voice saying, hey man, you ain't doing shit. So we try to get this voice out of our head completely. And we live over here in this land. So what you have to do first is turn up this voice over here. The voice saying things to you that aren't nice. That it's in our head saying, you know what, man? Dude, you're not, you're not doing shit. I'm not saying to put yourself down. I'm saying listen to the truth. And the truth isn't in the 20%. The truth is in this other part of your brain saying, look, man, you're wasting a bunch of percentage here. We have 80 more percent that we're not tapping into because in this other 80% is suffering, pain, failure, 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 self-doubt, darkness, and then a whole bunch of light. But to get to this light, you gotta go through all of this. So a lot of us know that. I can get over here, but over here, man, this is much better because I gotta go through this journey that is not fun. This, this from 20 to 100%, this shit in, the, in between is not fun. So we decide to live over here. So everybody goes, how do you do that? You know exactly how to do that. You know exactly, it's, it's not a magic trick. There's nothing I talk about that's a magic trick. It's all back down to a very primitive mindset of we just have to do. It's like breathing. Breathing becomes normal. Like we don't know that, that, that we're doing. That's how you have to live your life. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do. It's what we do now. Because to get to where you wanna go, the amount of pain involved, I'm not saying physical, I'm not saying you gotta break yourself off. The amount of mental pain, of how many times you're gonna have to do something that you don't want to do to get to where you want to go. When I was 297 pounds and I was fat as hell trying to be a Navy SEAL, the scariest thing in the world to me, even to this day, was that that could have been the rest of my life. I thought then I was trying hard. That's the scariest thing in the world. I thought then 297 pound working for Ecolab, spraying for cockroaches, making a thousand dollars a month. I thought that was me at my 100% potential. Come to find out, a few years later, I wasn't anywhere near that. 106 pounds less, graduated Navy SEAL training, went on to do all these other things. Looking back on that, that was me trying hard. That's why people gotta understand what is in us we have no idea until we start trying hard. And I mean really trying hard when you're obsessed with, hey, this is my new norm. My new norm is that, wow, this isn't always fun. It's not always meant to be fun. And that's when you know you're trying hard. Is that, and so people listen to us that maybe are at 20% or 30%, you know, about, yeah, I'm, I'm going hard, I'm going max. And yet they're not seeing the results. Like how do they actually shake themselves out of that? We're all in a battle with our own brains. That's all life. That's it's, all life is. It's the most powerful thing in the world. Is your own brain. It can work for you or against you. And as, as opposed to focusing on all those bad things that happened, all the things you didn't have, the people that called you names, all the stuff in the zoo again, and you start thinking, wait a second, I just visualized this, and now I can take the next level, next level. Because the visualization got you through sleep. It did. And I was able to visualize the end. So, so before, so when I was 297, and I was all fat and out of shape, and I couldn't run a quarter mile, and I was drinking milkshakes and eating boxes of donuts, I visualized, man, how would it feel for a brief moment 
I was, so there were 22 guys that graduated. I watched this segment on TV about these guys going through Navy SEAL training. And I couldn't even, I, I wasn't a great swimmer, I was afraid of the water, all this crap, man. But at the very end, it says 22 guys, this commanding officer's up there and he gives this great speech. I was like, man, I wonder. So I started visualizing me being the 23rd guy in these dress whites, sitting there with these guys, getting that Navy SEAL, you know, graduating this Navy SEAL training. I was like, God. So I put myself there. I was like, man, that's, that's an amazing feeling. I put myself there at 297, not even able to do anything that these great men were doing. I said, man, if I could feel that, that would change my life. I could just feel that one, it's, it, it lasts for one second. You get that certificate, you walk across the stage, and what's next? But I didn't know that then. My mind was that I thought I'd live in that moment forever. So I said, wow, man, if I could just feel like that. If I could feel like that. And what was that feeling you wanted so bad? That no, victory. I wanted to win. Not like beat somebody else. It wasn't about that. I, I, I just wanted to go the distance. Everything in my life, when something got hard, I quit. If it was reading, that's why you know, I wasn't great at reading, I wasn't great at writing, so I just quit. I couldn't catch on as fast as you. I had to work harder than you, so I quit. You know, I wasn't great at things, so I quit. You know, I'm, I'm not good at this. Like, man, if I could just go that distance, that extra mile, to just go, it's just to finish. I wanna finish. I wanna feel victory. And victory for me wasn't winning, it was just finishing. So I said, you know what? If I could feel like these guys feel, it'll change my life.